Hi. Welcome to Movies Reflexed. Today, I am going to explain an action comedy movie titled R.I.P.D. Watch out for spoilers. Take care. A huge and heavy man is shown as the movie starts. He is running while holding a briefcase. There is a man chasing him in order to retrieve that briefcase from him. But that bulky man was running very fast. He was looking like a creature. Then the leading character of this movie comes on the scene. His name is Nick. He has a gun and he appears while firing. He is struck with a car as he comes on the road. But he doesn't receive a severe injury. Then the site is shown before three or four days. When Nick had dug a deep hole in his garden. And he buries some gold in it. He wanted to hide it somewhere, so it may not be attained by anyone else. He sows a plant over it to hide it more. When Nick's wife sees it in the morning then, she asks her husband, how did this tree grow in our garden so quickly? Then Nick tells her, don't you want your home to be as sweet as possible? Now, it has dual meaning. Either he was wanting to tell their house has turned because of this tree, or he is going to purchase another splendid house with the gold which he has buried. Then his wife tells him, no, I don't need any house or money until you are with me. She leaves after saying it. Now, getting ready, Nick leaves to police station as he was a police officer. There, he meets with a man who used to work with him as his colleague. A discussion starts about the costly thing between them. Then Nick tells his partner that, I will return the share that I have got. I cannot keep it in my possession. Because I have talked to my wife and I have understood, nothing is more valuable than happiness. And if my wife knew about it, that I have got my share is such a high. Then she will be disappointed. His partner says, you are right, in this way, I will also return my share. Then Nick says to him, no my friend, I was just sharing my feelings with you. Nick's friend says to him, no Nick, I will get pleasure after doing it, nothing happens if we don't have money. It will only happen that we will be left poor as such. Then a man comes to them. And he tells them, while uttering the name of a criminal, that we have his location. And we will have to leave for that place. Now, Nick and his partner gets ready. And they reach that place by their vehicles. Nick is explaining his team members with a phone. That you will have to be careful about your life. Because that place is extremely dangerous. Going there, a fight starts between those criminals and Nick's companions. They begin to fire their gun on one another. And the hidden criminals of that gang also begins to appear. But Nick shoots them very trickily. Now, this man says to him, do what you can, I will not return my share now. Then Nick says, you will have to return it. We all have thought about it. And you will not get anything by keeping this share. That man says, not at all. And that man begins to fire Nick's shoulders and stomach. As a result, Nick falls down. He had fallen for a great height. As a result, he is knocked down. When he restores his senses, then he is at a strange place. He was taking everything awkward. The things are set on fire everywhere, and there is also an explosion. Suddenly, he begins to fly into the space. Then, he reaches a room where a lady is seated. A tunnel led him to this room. That lady tells him, you have died. Either you will be rewarded or punished according to your deeds. But, an option is placed before you. As you don't know that you will go to heaven or hell, so it will be better for you to select the third option. It is to join R.I.P.D. You were a sergeant in your before life. And now, you will work for R.I.P.D. And this option is offered only for those people who wanted to do something in their lives. But they died before it, they also have a few sins. So, this chance is offered to compensate it, are you ready for it, or, you want to hear the catastrophe according to your deed. Because I know that, you want to make your life better while moving. And you also want to meet your wife. Then Nick tells, it is perhaps like the same. I will follow you. Just tell me, then that lady says, okay. In the same way, Nick's uniform is disappeared. A logo starts to appear on his body. And it was the logo of R.I.P.D. He also feels a little pain due to this. Afterwards, that lady brings him into a prison. There was a huge number of monsters. That lady is telling Nick, with it that, 50,000 people are died on a daily basis. 
and we bring some of them into our IPD, they are basically human beings. But some of them are transformed into a monster among them. Here, that lady introduces Nick to an old man. But, Nick doesn't shake his hand with him. Now, that old man takes Nick and returns to Earth. The first place where Nick visits is actually his own grave. There was also Nick's wife and his friends. But they were not recognizing him. That aged man pushes him back saying, your face and voice, both are changed. This is the cause that, no one can recognize you in this world, then Nick says, it is my real face, the aged man says, no, it is not like this. When there is a turn, to choose the identity card of Nick, then he is actually a female. His identity card is handed to him over. Now, Nick and that man are seated in the car. That old man warns him that, you will not appear before your wife next time. Otherwise, issues may arise, we can perform a great job until we are together. Because we are the officers of RIPD, I will teach you everything. Then Nick says to that old man, I don't rely on the partnership. Now that old man says to Nick, we will go for our mission at first, but I will tell you a fact before it. The people who are no more, they are transformed into a monster, if the meal is taken before them. It is the only way to capture them. Now, they move to the apartment of that man through the lift. They ask him, have you died, then, that man denies. Then that old man begins to take a meal before him. One more hand appears from that seated man before them. And he begins to act like a monster. Nick tries to catch that man. But he jumps over the building. That man vomits as he goes down. And there are some fragments of gold in his vomit. The old man shoots him after seeing it. Because it was the same gold which had been buried by Nick. It means, this man stole this gold from the garden of Nick. Observing it, that old man becomes aggressive. And he says to Nick, your new life has no concern with what happened in your previous life. Here, that old man is also angry at him. Why can't you forget about you past life, you are dead, and now, you just serve the RIPD, they move to RIPD office together. That old man keeps that gold at a place, where other evidences had been kept. And the evidences which were gotten by other people. Nick says to him, it was my gold, and we will have to know about it, and that man agrees. And they move to another person. They ask him about the gold. In the beginning, he wasn't uttering a word. Then he tells that, it is fake. And that old man believes in him. And they let the gold in the possession of that man. When Nick and the old man move downstairs, then they notice, that man is going somewhere keeping the gold in his pocket. And he hands over this gold to the same partner of Nick. Who was seen with him in the police station. It means, this gold was not fake. That man was telling a lie. Now, they both begin to chase Nick's partner. Where will he go? Even Nick's partner had known, that he has hidden the gold in his garden. So, he wanted to confirm it that, if it was the same gold which is still buried under the ground. Going to his house, he says to Nick's wife, your husband had hidden something in the garden. She tells, no, he had sowed a fresh tree in the garden. They get the pouch of gold as they dig it. That man feels very excited with this. But he says to Nick's wife that, I am a loyal police officer, I am just grabbing this gold which had been stolen by your husband. Nick's wife is upset thinking that, Nick was indulged in theft. It is also being heard by Nick and the old man. Then that old man asks, did you really steal it? Nick says, no, he is telling a lie. The controversy is again started between Nick and that old man. Their thoughts were different. Then, leaving that place, Nick's partner moves to another place. The old man and Nick also begins to pursue that man while quarreling. Then, a bulky man appears there to meet Nick's partner. And he is the same man who was seen at the beginning of the movie. He also had a briefcase in his hand. He was the same creature who used to transform into a monster, if someone is eating before him. Now, old man and Nick starts to ask him, what do you know about the gold, what is your concern with my partner, but that creature doesn't open its mouth, and he transforms into a monster itself. Grabbing the briefcase, he begins to run. And at the scene of the beginning, Nick also runs after him. Bulky man starts to jump and begins to walk on a building. As if there was no gravity for him. This monster may have this ability. 
Now, the story shifts to the recent time and the real movie begins. Nick and that old man remain unsuccessful to catch this man. They directly come to the lady who had recruited Nick as as an officer of RIPD. That lady starts to scold them saying, how could you fail? They move to a room. And that lady brings a box from a place. There is a long paper in the box. They come to know, after reading it that, this gold is a part of some kind of device. And this device can turn the portal upside down. It benefits as all the dead people will be resurrected. And that lady says to both of them, I am giving you one more chance of a day. Afterwards, you will be removed. So accomplish it what you want to do. Then Nick immediately goes to his wife who was jogging at night. He touches her face in such a way as he used to touch in reality, in order to tell his wife that he is Nick. His wife senses it as he is really Nick. But how can she consider someone else as Nick? She leaves from there. But that old man is also observing it from a distance. So, coming near him, he says, why don't you accept it, you are dead, and now, your wife cannot live with you. She will lead a happy life after marrying someone else. Now, she is not your responsibility. Hearing it, Nick gets angry, and he begins to fight that old man. They begin to converse with each other. Then they come to know that, Nick's same friend who had fled, grabbing the gold, he is also a creature who can transform into a monster. It is shown in the next scene that, Nick's friend is giving the fragment of gold to someone else. Then he receives a call from Nick's wife who reveals to him that, I met someone yesterday and I sensed as he is Nick. As he himself was a monster so, he could actually understand the situation. He understands that he is Nick, but he cannot reveal anything to his wife. Here, the old man and Nick are both angry. They move to his house to catch him. But he destroys his entire house so that they can't catch him. In spite of it, Nick captures him. And they bring him to RIPD. No alive person could come here. His coming here only indicates that he had also died and can turn into a monster. But that man flees, stealing the remaining gold. He was a sharp man. At last, he had collected enough gold to create the device with. Now, there was going to be a portal, then that old man and Nick also reaches there. They couldn't let it happen as such. The dispute starts between them. Reaching there, Nick starts to fire his gun on the monsters. Meanwhile, that man had called Nick's wife there. But Nick's partner is transformed into a monster soon. Nick's partner who had transformed into the monster, places a rod in Nick's wife's neck. As Nick forbids him to take his wife. The same monster stabs that rod at his wife's backside. Seeing it, Nick loses his temper. And he begin to fire on that monster. But, that man has already built the portal. On the other side, that old man attempts to hold that portal. And a huge hawker car is fallen on this device. And this device gets damaged and stops working. Then, it is shown that monster's condition is worsened. His face is spoiled. Then, Nick fires his gun on his face and puts him into death. But his wife's condition was also worse. And she is nearly to die. Here, she can glimpse Nick now. As she was standing between life and death. And only the dead people could see it. But Nick tells her, you will get no harm, you have to live a long life. It's shown in the next scene that his wife opens her eyes in a hospital. Now that lady tells Nick and that old man that you will not be suspended. You did a great job. She also returns old man's hat to him. And the movie ends here. If you enjoyed this video then please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the upcoming uploads. Thank you for watching.